and fellow thrifting maniacs. Welcome to this week's edition of Hobo Reach, how to decorate rich on the budget of a hobo. Check this out. This is a massive thrift haul. I hit the mother load this past week. I think I was temporarily insane because all of this stuff that I got was from, well, two garage sales, one estate sale, and then a day of thrifting with my mom. So it was a ton of fun. I met all sorts of really cool people, bumped into my friend Mary Ellen, took my mom on the thrifting expedition where we then looked at three properties and I found a cottage that I'm in love with. And then I took my assistant to Goodwill today and she found some things. So it's been tons of fun. Um, the owner of the estate sale I went to owned an antique shop. She was a fellow Francophile. So this was just like a really fun week and I cannot believe how many treasures I found. All right, I am so excited to show you this stuff because it's just great, right? All right, I don't even know where to start, but I think I'm gonna start with this because this is probably one of my favorite finds. Um, all right, this was $25 at Salvation Army. It's probably worth under a hundred, but I just think it's so beautiful and that's gonna go somewhere fabulous in my house or maybe my next Airbnb cottage. I also found this this picture at one of the antique store, uh, was it, yeah, well, it was kind of like a thrift store that's a little bit more on the antique side. It was $4.99. Today I found this at Salvation Army for $2.97. I got this crock at a garage sale for $10, and I have two other big ones, and I thought they looked really cute as a grouping of three together for an outdoor arrangement of plants at my cottage that I don't own yet. Um, okay, $5 at Salvation Army. Then I got this, and I believe, no, I didn't get a matching teapot. I got these $3.99, $3.99, $2.99, thrifting. I also got some of these, and they're from Williams-Sonoma, $2.99 each. I got about five of them. They're great for serving things when I throw parties, and I have two, had two other ones exactly like it already. And then I got, I have to go fast here because I have no air conditioning. Pretty soon, like, my mascara is going to be dripping down my face, and my hair is going to be frizzing out. So we're showing you quickly today. Uh, I got this at the estate sale, and I thought it would be really cute at the cottage to put like the tea and coffee pots in here. Kind of hidden away, but cute. Okay, and then I got this teapot and matching uh, creamer and sugar. This was $3.99 at Goodwill. This was the garage, no, this is Goodwill, $3.99. I have a lot of red and white transfer wear, so I thought this would be cute with a little floral in it. Then you may have seen me thrifting these. They were on sale half off. So these were 50 cents and they match the set that I have on my bar cart. And I also got these glasses, the same stuff. These are three matching, um, this is a cordial glass, martini and wine glass because some of my Airbnb wine glasses were broken and these were 97 cents each at Salvation Army. Also got this today at Goodwill. It's just like a little vase. There is a little crack in the back, but I think you won't see that when there's little flowers in there. So that's a cute little vase. Um, garage sale I found for the cottage, the strawberry pattern cup and saucer. It's a whole place setting cup and saucer, small plate, big plate, serving platters, cream and sugar, like the whole set. I also found this antique frog for floral arranging. I like it because the lid comes off. You don't see that very often. Usually they're just one piece. This was $2.99. Oh, and the dish set, which was the strawberry dish set, it was 50 bucks for all of them. Place that at eight. Then I found these little cuties. $1.99 each. I love, somebody probably just glued these little pink and white curly things on here. There's about 12 of them and I can put little motives in there. So it'd be really cute on a place setting. Then I got a mini at two different places. Cream and sugar, they're mismatched, but I think they'd be cute together. This one was $3.99 at Salvation Army, 99 cents at Goodwill. 
Then I got a bigger <laughs> set, also thrifting. $1.97 at Salvation Army. And this one, $2.97 at two different Salvation Army stops. And they match, they're mismatched, but they go together. The teapot that I got at the garage sale. And you know what? I don't know, they priced it for me. I don't remember how much, but if it was cheaper, I wouldn't have gotten it. <laughs> at the same garage sale, I also got brand new Williams Sonoma napkins. I forget what the price they gave me, but brand new in the package white and these adorable pink placemats and these were originally from Neiman Marcus brand new well they're eight dollars back in the day but they're vintage uh four dollars for eight and these will be really cute with all the rose dishes I got and stuff so I can do a really cute place setting with these for Rose Cottage that's the name of my cottage that I don't own yet um let's see at the estate sale definitely hit the mother load. I got two chandeliers and the woman whose house it was that she was moving from used to own an antique store, kind of like in shabby chic style, which is perfect for the cottage. Total fellow Francophile. We had a blast in there and I think these were originally like 700 new. So I got these for hundred bucks each, which is really weird because I was just on eBay looking for cute little chandeliers. I could not find anything I liked. So this one, you can see it was marked in her shop at 700 down to 200 when she closed her store, and then I got it for 100 bucks. All right, I got a set of about 12 of these, cute for the Airbnb cottage, or maybe my Airbnb here, 99 cents each, vintage glasses with the rose. But we're looking for rose stuff. I got this French picture, it's newer, but I thought it was really cute because of the little French motif. $6.99, my friends. All right, these were not cheap, but I fell in love with them and had to get them. Oil and vinegar, you rarely see these, especially a pair, and not broken. Let's see, they were 10 bucks each, but when I was carrying these around, a woman stopped me and said, oh, I was looking at those, I was gonna get those. So we started talking, turns out she's an eBay seller, and I will link below her eBay store. I haven't checked it out yet, but in case you want to, and then also on that note, the Skylight Foundation is where I get a lot of my treasures and they're opening up a new space. That was one of the garage sales that I went to, so I will link them below as well. I got this today at Goodwill for $3.99. I'm gonna paint it probably black to go out on my terrace. And I got another tray. I'm not sure if I'm gonna paint it or leave it. And I thought it'd be cute just to serve drinks in or maybe put some florals on there. So got that. Also got, I'm telling you, this is a lot. Hopefully this video is not too long. Uh, I got a set of these for 99 cents with roses. I bought two wreaths that I'm going to rip apart and make into new wreaths. So when they're cheaper than Michael's at Goodwill, I get little wreaths. So I thought this was cute. It has a little hanger. And then this one, I'm gonna rip off all of this stuff. And um, I just got some dried lavender I'm gonna put in here so we make a cute wreath for my coach house Airbnb door that will match all of the lavender that I have in my back hair. Told you I'm a Francophile and lavender is rather grown in France. So I set up my space to look like a little mini lavender field in my backyard. I plant it all annually because lavender never comes back in Chicago. So I don't have to sell the France weather, but I can make a leaf by planting it annually every year. So I thought the wreath would look really cute with my little lavender set up in the backyard. Okay, let's see, what did I forget? I am starting to sweat, my friends, starting to sweat. <laughs> I got this little lamp, it's broken, and I just found this at the estate sale, but she's like, oh, I have a lamp that goes too. So I'm gonna fix this, but I thought this would be really cute, Airbnb nightstand. Um, okay, the one garage sale, I only got one thing, and I got these really cute French etchings. There's four of them and I picked all four bedroom scenes so I think these will be really cute framed. Maybe in one of the Airbnb bedrooms or a hallway. I don't know where they're gonna go but they're super cute. So I got them. Score. <laughs> okay. Uh, $7.99 for this alabaster box. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it but you can't be the cheap alabaster box for $7.99. Oh those prints two bucks each. 
All right, for the Airbnb, I found this book, Oddball, Illinois. It tells about all sorts of fun and crazy things to do in Illinois, so it's great for the tourists that stay. They can read it and find some fun stuff to do. Then for the Rose Cottage, I found these Onita. I'm not sure what I paid. Um, I think they're iced teaspoons, but I think they'd be great for the coffee setup. They have roses on them here, the design, and they are almost identical to my mom's uh, actual silver play settings. So I think these are pretty cute. Kind of fond of those. This is a little weird. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. It's got this red plastic insert, so I think this would be really cute with some flowers or even potted plants outside. It's just like a wood barrel thing, but it says popcorn here, so we're going to have to cover that and maybe put like our own, maybe like a little French stencil or something going on. Another container for lavender. <laughs> All right, um, I got these. Also, uh, did I show you these already? Yeah, I already showed you them. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Um, showed you that. Okay, oh, copperware. Got all sorts of copper that's going to be really cute hung in my kitchen, maybe in the cottage kitchen. Got a few different patterns of copperware, including this cute little mold. Isn't that adorable? This one's got roses, so it is going to look super cute in Rose Cottage. All right, this little blue and white vase I thought was precious and it would also look super cute in the cottage and we may use it for floral today for staging my Airbnb space because there's a lot of blue up in there. Pardon the reach. Okay, I have no idea what this is, but it is a million feathers glued onto a styrofoam ball. I just imagine somebody painstakingly gluing these on by hand. I'm not sure how it was made, but it has to be handmade. And I just thought it's really cool. Not really my color palette, so I may use it in the fall for some set, sort of like decor centerpiece or something. I don't know. Like you could go on a candlestick, it could go on something with some fall florals. I don't know what I need to get, but I just thought it was so cool with like little feathers on there. Okay, these. I got a big garage sale and they match, I don't know if you can see behind me, they match my vintage glasses up here and it's the Jeanette pattern. It kind of, um, know, they're sort of like Greek figures and trees and stuff and I thought it would be cute to put nuts in this when I'm serving drinks in those glasses. But it matches other stuff that it's really cute with the rose stuff. Oh, Alexa's interrupting with the daily mindset reminder. Okay, so. Send out and meditate, Alexa. We gotta go fast here because I'm starting to sweat and there's so much stuff. It's crazy. Okay, I think this was Limoges or was the teapot Limoges. I can't read without my glasses on, I'm sorry. But again, we're going with the rose theme, like me and Rachel Ashwell, we are the rose fanatics. Okay, can I reach? Ah! Uh, some antique salt and pepper shakers. I've been on the lookout for these for a long time. Uh, Ten bucks at the estate sale. A spode plate with roses. It is from the Blue Room collection. And because I have the rose, I had to get it. A vintage French leather basket. Estate sale. I can't reach all this stuff. Let's see. Another piece of transferware over there, and then I got this container at the state sale for one one dollar. Okay, I think that was everything on this half of the table. Moving on. All right, at the estate sale, I got a bunch of French linens. This is like the cutest crib sheet I have ever seen. It's got this little piece on it here, and this would be cute in a crib, but I thought I could also turn it into like a little window treatment for my coach house bathroom where everyone is complaining on Airbnb that it needs a curtain because they come out of the tub or whatever and the papers landscapers around the corner and they're like, you need a curtain. Okay, I got a curtain now. I don't put one up until I find the right thing. No ugly temporary curtains for me. Okay, basket in the shape of a tray. This I got at the garage sale. This cute blue and white toile fabric that is going to turn into Pillow or someplace. So, anytime I find any unique wall, it's mine. I'm gonna take it home. Oh, I forgot this. This is a antique 
um, easel, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to put a TV on it in my Airbnb space instead of hanging it on the wall. And maybe even hiding a piece of artwork in front of the TV, or maybe getting a frame TV and plopping it there so it just looks like a piece of artwork in the space. Because I hate TVs, they're ugly, and I don't watch. Um, okay, back to the estate sale with the Franco files. <laughs> Found this rose pattern pillow. It's got feather down inside, so it was a really good find. Uh, Goodwill, $2.99 for the basket. Also got these two candelabra holders for light fixtures. Kind of cute. And I don't know the prices of all this because they kind of gave me a deal. This is another pillowcase. And I hope you can see everything as I'm lifting it up. I've got two of these brand new from their store, red and white twall pillowcases. So two of those. And then this is another style pillow that matches. Thought would be cute in the cottage, like on a little, little bench outside. So two of those. You can see prices on here, so I forget what I paid. This is a Euro sham with roses, so it goes with my theme. Um, big Euro sham. And these are really hard to find. So for me, this was a total score. Uh, my grandmother, my German grandmother, gave me a twin size duvet cover. But in Europe, they don't make them to hang over the edges of the bed. They just sit on the top of the bed flat. So in the States, you don't find duvet covers for those size feather beds. So I found these and I thought, what size is this? And the lady said, oh, it's a twin, but a weird twin. I said, is this a European twin? She said, yes. I said, perfect, because I have a feather bed, one ugly cover that my grandmother picked out. And at the estate sale, they had three. They've never been used. She was storing all of this stuff and she thought she was gonna buy a cottage someday, and she didn't. So instead, I get to benefit from her little shopping spree. So there's three of these. Which is good for Airbnb because people stay in things. Sometimes you have to do have an extra set in the wings of sheets and duvet covers and things like that. So I think they're all like super cute. And I got this basket, which I think would be cute with I don't know anything from firewood to magazines to beach towels at the Airbnb. But I love these French look at the baskets. Okay, onwards to the linens. This is a French. Duvet cup, I mean bedspread uh, from France. I got it for fifty dollars, but there's several hundred. It's brand new, and this is the exact color I want to paint the front door at the cottage. And of course, again, my luck is that it is the rose theme. <laughs> okay. All right, more roses. Roses, roses, roses. Debated whether to get these or not because they're not my color palette. They're black and white, but because they were so cute and they were roses, I had to get them. So two curtain panels for 10 bucks with this really cute, I don't know, it's kind of like a quilted part at the top and they were 10 bucks for two. So a set of curtains, almost done. <laughs> I found this for 20. Gotta have a little Louie in your life. I found this little bench and uh, I need to reupholster it, paint it or strip it, I'm not sure yet, but that was kind of a score for 20. And I think that might conclude my thrift top. Oh, except one uh, non-rose pattern thing. <laughs> one thing I found, I always have Cubs fans come stay at my Airbnb and I, you know, get uh, some paraphernalia for them and I could not find hats because the store was out. Lo and behold, the week after they leave, you know, I got them some other stuff, but I found both an adult and a child cubs hat new thrifting. So I think this one was $2.99. I forget how much this one was. I think $2. Two different thrift stores. So now I'm stocked up for when the next Cubs fans come to my Airbnb. So I think I hit everything on the table without my mascara dripping off of my face. <laughs> so this is a little crazy. This is not my typical week of thrifting. I don't know what happened, but I just got really lucky with what I was finding and especially the estate sale that I bumped into. Oh, and one more note on the estate sale, this pine table, I met the lady who made it because she used to work at the pine store and I had this custom made and she made all the tables. So it was kind of fun telling her I had this table and how I designed it and here it is. And 
I want them to come over and like, you know, see how I use all their stuff and you know, she can see the table in action. So it was just like a lot of fun this week and I found so many great things. So I hope this gives you some incentive to go thrifting and to decorate thrifting finds and just go and do things you love. And if you see something at Goodwill or some other charity shop or an estate sale or a garage sale, don't hesitate. And it doesn't matter what it's really worth. Like I didn't really value this till I walked into a guy in the store who was a collector and told me he found an $8 necklace at Salvation Army worth 12,000. Now I would have probably passed it by, but I love this. So even if I had to pay 24 and it's worth close to 100, I don't care, I'm gonna love it wherever I put it. So just buy what you love and go for it. And if you're not into thrifting, do something else that you love because you know I'm just so excited with like all of this stuff and where I'm gonna put it and you know the decor and the decorating that I'm gonna do so I hope this inspired you to do something fun this week and I've got to go now because I am sweating see you next time for the next crazy maniac thrift haul that I'm gonna do all right ciao for now